for the construction of the exterior gusset piece, you will need your D-ring connector pieces and your two D-rings as well as your gusset piece. When I applied my fleece, I did not apply it to the vinyl. I instead applied it to the interior gusset piece and trimmed it a little bit um, to keep the bulk out of the seam allowances. Just because I find it easier to apply fleece to the um, woven lining rather than the vinyl. But if you've used woven, then you probably have your fleece on that there. However you've done it is fine. For the D-ring connectors, the piece that you've cut, if you are doing a one inch strap, then your piece will be two inches wide. I'm using three quarter of an inch hardware and I made a three quarter of an inch strap. So mine is only one and a half inches wide. The first thing that I'm going to do is draw a line down the center of these connector pieces interface connector pieces line down the center at three quarters of an inch and I'm going to grab my double-sided tape and I'm going to run that down the center here same on the other one And then I'm going to fold that towards the middle. Then I'm going to grab my seam roller and just press the sides there. Repeat on this piece. So now you have your two pieces that are folded lower edges in. I'm just going to pop over to the iron and give that a quick press over there too, just to get it nice and crisp. Now that the connectors are ready, I'm going to take my double-sided tape again and pop it on the back of these pieces. in the center. Oops. Then peel that tape off. Take one of the D-rings, pop it on one end and then fold to the middle. And then fold to the middle again for the other one now we need to place these so that the top of the um, connector piece is one and a half inches down from the edge of the gusset so using my mat as a guide I will put some double-sided tape on the back of each of these. Peel that off. And then you can use a ruler to guide you. So I want it one and a half inches down, which I can see there, but I want it centered. So that's going to be three and a half inches from the end because this is two inches long. And so I can just center that up on my mat. And then using my square, I can line that up and then press that down in place there. Repeat on the other side.
press it down. And I'm going to take this gusset piece over to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew around this rectangle uh, with a top stitch. If you have rivets, you can then place a couple of rivets in there. If you are not going to be riveting, I suggest also sewing an X across the piece here to give it some added security. So I'll take it over to the machine and get that done. I did decide to change to my zipper foot for this, just so that it allows to, me to get a little bit closer to the D-ring there. I also suggest if you have um, a hump jumper or something similar to keep that nearby, uh, as you may need that. You don't normally put them in front, but that D-ring is in the way there, so just to help that. Oh dear, don't do that. Just to help that get through there. Okay. Turn your gusset. Oops. Now I normally do do a rivet, but I'm going to do the X today and hopefully I don't regret it. And I didn't draw a line. Normally if I was gonna do that, I would draw a line, but we're just going to go with it. stuck with the rivets. All right, I'm going to repeat on the other side. Now that the connectors are both sewn on, we can uh, construct the exterior. So what we need to do is take our gusset piece, we're going to fold it in half, and then just make some snips across the edges here. That will help us go around the curve of the exterior and then we will take it over to the machine and sew it all together. The first thing that I like to mark is the center. I do the center with a little tiny snip so that it makes a triangle there so it's obvious that that's the center. Same on both sides. Then I snip in a little less than a quarter of an inch, just about every half an inch up the gusset, about two thirds of the way, because that is how far the curve is gonna go around. Same on the other side, just making sure you're keeping those little snips within your seam allowance so that they don't show through. Just snipping into the seam allowance of the gusset. Just like that. Then take your exterior, fold that in half, mark the center here. Again, with a little triangle cut, 
that just will stay within the seam allowance. Same on your exterior front. This is the same on either side, so it doesn't matter which way you do it. So grab your clips or your pins, whatever your preferred medium is. Make sure that your zipper pull is on. If for some reason you haven't placed this zipper pull yet, pop that on. If you are using a regular zipper, now would be the time to slide your zipper in to the middle so that you can construct your gusset. So taking the triangle, line it up with the triangle here on your exterior front. Clip it there in the middle, fold the gusset piece around, line up the top of your exterior with the top of your gusset. Now it's angled slightly, so we're using a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. So that's about where you want your overlap to occur. And then using clips, just ease that gusset around the curve. And that's why we've put these little snips in. They just make it easier for us to ease that gusset around the shape of the interior. to slide it a little bit to try to keep it the right shape. Flip it around. And I try to go, I go back and forth a little bit to just try to make sure that I am keeping the curve in place. When I take this over to the machine, I will sew it gusset side down and that will help just to feed it through and stop it shifting so much because the bottom is where the feed belts are. And then this part here, just try to fold that out of the way and pop a couple of clips on that to keep it out of the way too so that it's not going to cause any problems over at the machine. So we're going to go over, sew around this edge with 3 8 of an inch and then I'm going to clip the other side and do the same thing. And I'm going to be using my regular um, sewing machine foot to do that. I just realized that I am not sewing it gusset side down, so we'll flip it over and do a gusset side down. So that is the first side of the gusset done. Now I will clip and sew the other side. So I have clipped the gusset on this side too. We're gonna to keep this flap out of the way. Then we're gonna go and sew the other side. It gets a little tricky uh, with the flap and with the other side of the gusset already in the way. So we will just do our best. Now 
Now what I'm going to do is trim around the curves with my pinking shears on both sides. I'm not going to trim these zippers. I'm gonna leave those there so that when we turn the bag and they curve in there, they're not gonna dig into the vinyl. So I'm just gonna trim the curves and then turn it around, sorry, turn it out. And then that will be our exterior complete. So here we have the completed exterior of the bag with the flap, our strap connectors, our front zipper pocket. So the next thing that we're going to do is do our interior pockets and then construct the interior gusset and then we will be joining them together. So we're getting there. Great job, everybody.